What's better, two blades or three? Shave Wars are back. What's cool about today's episode, you know, I've been talking a lot of trash for a while. Back in the day when Gillette released the Sensor XL, two-bladed razor with a pivoting head, nice lubrication strip up here, and the micro fin technology rubber guide down there. And I said they should have stopped with two blades. But on a recent video, you know, I took out and bought a new Mach 3 and loved it actually love this. So I'm wondering, as I'm getting older, did I actually replace those two memories? Was it the Mach 3 that blew my mind? And where they should have stopped? Or is it the Sensor XL? All right, so thanks to my buddy B-Man, I have Sensor XL cartridges for the rest of my life, and this is one of them. But B-Man, if you have some Mach 3 blades that you want to share? Just send them on, bruh. But coming up, Shave Wars. What's better, two blades or three? So as much as I'd like to, I can't take all the credit for this great idea. One of the viewers mentioned the Mach 3 versus the XL, the Sensor XL. And I'll give you credit if I can find the comment. Now guys, because I just love this product, Gillette Foam Mousse, and because it's a Gillette Shave War, I'm going to use this product. I'm going to use my favorite Foam Mousse. And I'll start on this side of the face, and I will start with the sensor. First pass with grain, let's do it. Gillette Sensor. Nice. So I'm shaving with the grain. And I'm using firm but light pressure, guys, because I'm not digging. I'm shaving and just hear those blades do the work. Just hear the blades work. These blades are great. Lots of control, guys. and a very slim blade so you can get slim and narrow so you can get into the nooks and crannies of your face. And that's very nice. Let's flip this blade around and we're gonna shave up or with the grain on the neck. And again, firm, but light. Not a lot of fuss, not a lot of worry. Sort of like an old Volkswagen. Not a lot going on under the hood. So you could easily, you could easily work with it. All right, first pass in the books, guys. First pass in the box. And I enjoyed that shave. And I enjoyed it a lot more because the blade was free. <laughs> the cartridge was free, thanks to my boy B-Man. Nice, smooth, one pass shave. Now I'll go back over that. But no nicks, no tugs. No worries. I got about a three day stubble going. So let's steam up, lather up on the other side and we'll test out the Mach 3. First pass, Mach 3. Oh, that's nice. That is nice, guys. Now the Mach 3. Provides a little bit more coverage. Right? One more blade. Oh, very nice. The one thing I will say is that the Mach 3, they really perfected the pivot. This pivot on the sensor is a little, you know, it's a little jerky. This guy, 
I mean, that is just boom. And the angle here just allows you a little bit more control. Now the way the razor is is built, it's a little harder to get up into the nooks and crannies with the Mach 3, believe it or not. But it's just fine, it works just fine. Let's flip this blade down and let's attack the neck. Very nice, guys. I tell you what. Let's do the feel test. Very comparable shaves. But I tell you what, for my money, guys, for my money, I'm going to have to say that three blades is just a little bit better than two. There's nothing wrong with the Sensor XL, guys. If you still have this, you could keep shaving and shaving well for years to come. But this Mach 3, I think this is the pinnacle of shaving. I think this is where they should have stopped. And because it just looks different, because of this angle here, because of the head, you see how that pivoting head seems to have been perfected, guys? Look at that blade. And they invested, they invested in the turbo line, they have a power line, a sensitive line. Here's my Mach 3, sensitive with power. So because of that, I'm gonna give the nod, I'm gonna give the nod to the Mach 3, guys. And for the final shave, and you know how I do, for the final pass, I'm gonna shave with this Mach 3 sensitive power. I'm gonna do a, a second pass against the grain. Put a little bit more Gillette Foam Mousse on. And we'll bring it home. This is somewhat rare, but I'm gonna leave links below so you can pick up all of these razors and the cartridges because you don't have a friend like I do. And I have to thank B-Man once more. But let's bring this home and let's, let's put the power on too. All right, so my second and final pass today is gonna to be against the grain. So hair grows down on your face this way. I'm gonna flip that blade up and I'm gonna shave with power against the grain. You hear that blade? Oh yeah. For the sensitive man. Look at that, look at that brat. And this is where you could get grabby. When you're doing that against the grain cut, it can get grabby on you, but not with a sharp new Mach 3 blade, guys. When you're cutting against grain, you don't want to be putting a lot of pressure on. You just want to let the device do the work. Let the device work its magic. Finish it up with some Duke Cannon's Ice Cold After Shave Bomb. Icy hot, beautiful. So there you have it guys, for my money, three blades, definitely better than two. I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing that play. <laughs> you know what to do. Average guy tested. Average guy approved. The budget wars. Luke, I am your father. Alright guys, so Sunday shave. And I've been thinking to do a budget oriented video. Or a series of budget oriented videos this year. Because, let's face it, there's an economics to shaving. Not all of us want or need to spend a lot of money to get a good clean shave. So I want to give you some good options on the budget end of the spectrum. And you know I'm a sucker for marketing, right? So I was in CVS today, 
and I saw this. Now I'm a big fan of the Schick Extreme 3 product. This is the sensitive version. And if you look here, it says limited edition handle. It's like all black, like stealth black. They have a new handle design. So I figured I'd pick that up. And to be fair for the budget war, I'm going to be featuring it against the Big Flex 3, which is also boasting a new form factor, a new design. I did a review of this. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I was pretty impressed. I'm typically not a great big fan of Bic, but this new Flex line, they have the three, the four, and the five. I'll do reviews of all of them. Pretty impressed. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to shave this side of my face with the new Extreme 3 Sensitive. And then I'll come back, guys, and I'll, to be fair, I'll uh, prime up on this side and shave this side of my face with the Bic Flex 3. Very sturdy, but has a nice rubber feel to it, and it's relatively light. But the claim to fame, guys, with this razor is just the form factor. You know, it's, it's slight, three blades, pretty aggressive looking. It has a flex, sort of flexible within the blade itself. It's got the slight pivot there. I just have always found that this to be a very good budget razor. Hair on my face is growing down, shaving with the grain. Straight down. Love this blade, guys. Good control. Look at that. Nice, easy strokes. Look at that. You hear that blade? Let the device do the work, guys. And what I mean by that is, you know, there's no way you're going to get all the hair off. For many of us, we have very coarse hair, thick hair. It's going to show through. You're never going to get that baby fine face you had when you were a boy. There's no need to dig. Let the weight of the device take the hair off. In the long run, it'll save you less irritation, less chance of ingrown hairs. Nice smooth strokes. Very, very nice. All right. Now, hair on your neck. For many people, it grows in all different directions, but primarily the hair on your neck wants to grow up and sort of meet the hair coming down on your face. That means to shave with the grain, you're flipping the blade and you're shaving up. Again, smooth strokes, letting the device do the work. You're not digging, you're shaving. Oh, that's nice. Nice long handle on this extreme. And that shave is in the books, guys. I'm gonna take this cream off so you can see a little comparison. I was running about a, a four day growth, four or five day growth. And that's your difference. It's nice and smooth. There are a couple of spots for a follow-up pass, especially right here on the jawline. But for the most part, nice and smooth, easy, no irritation, no pulling, no nicking. I love this Schick Extreme 3 blade, and this is a fancy nice, I'm gonna call it Stealth Black. Limited edition handle. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can pick these up on Amazon. You can help you, you can help me. It's a win-win. All right, let's prep the skin, to be fair. Let's prep the skin on this side of the face. I'm gonna use some pre-shave oil and then I'm going with my favorite Gillette foam mousse. Okay, before I get going, a quick overview of the Big Flex 3. Again, this has been updated, new handle, new design. It's got a slim form factor. Comparable design, guys. Slim enough to get up in those nooks and crannies. It's got that lubrication strip, slip proof. It's a little bit more plastic feeling than its competition today. So there's a like a rubber feel to this, which I like. 
And of course, you can't get better than stealth black and lime green. Come on. All right, so let's get going. Looks, looks aside, the proof is in the pudding. We're going first pass with the grain. And let's get cracking. Nice. Very, very nice. Again, you're gonna to wanna to let the device itself do the work. I've always been really a big fan of the Extreme 3 guys. And I'm telling you, this Bic Flex 3 has nice coverage. Seems to me like this is flatter on the face. Now it was a little bit pullier around this area. There was a little bit of a tug action, but there's not a lot of daylight between these two razors, and I'm impressed by both. Let's do the neck. Again, we're gonna flip the blades orientation and shave upward. Nice. Very, very nice. I'm feeling a nicer sense of control with this Bic, guys. And I'm actually pretty surprised. It's a push, but I'm going to lean towards the Bic Flex 3, guys. And I'll tell you why. If you look at these blades, there's a little bit of clogging here, which I did not experience with the Bic. It seemed like I got through the cut a lot quicker with the Bic. Maybe I was talking less. However, first pass. I'm feeling a little bit more hair with the Bic. Again, that could be I don't know. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. The overall experience I felt was better with the Bic, believe it or not, even though I'm a big fan of this I don't think you can go wrong. Both are really good budget razors. But today, if I have to call it being honest, I'm going with the Bic. I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm gonna do the final pass, the cleanup pass with the Bic. We're gonna go with nice long cross cut strokes to just kind of clean up any of those hairs that may be growing in funky directions out of step and address any areas where you can feel that you missed a spot. I like to hold the, I like to hold the, or grip the device at the end when I'm doing this cross cut, because for the cross cut, I'm really, really not looking to put any pressure on my skin because you can really cut yourself up on this cross grain cut. I just like to let the weight of the device itself guide you. The hand is just there to make sure you don't drop the razor. Rinse with warm water again, pat the skin dry, add some post-shave balm. Get you nice and smelling good, and you're all set to go. Although today I gave the Bic Flex 3 the slight edge, both of these razors are great budget options. Schick Extreme 3 Sensitive with this Stealth Black Limited Edition handle is pretty sweet. Grab some, throw them in your bag. Bic Flex 3, today's winner. And I'll be coming back with the Bic Flex 4, the Bic Flex 5. I'm impressed, guys. Finished it off today with Duke Cannon's Ice Cold Aftershave Balm. Like I said before, links in the description box below. Check them out. Pick them up on Amazon. You'll be doing something for you. You'll be doing something for me. I'll see you clowns next time, which will probably be like tomorrow. But in the meantime, you know what to do. You're going to keep pushing play. Have a great Sunday, y'all.
Luke, I am your father. The budget wars. Average guy tested. Average guy approved. Shave Wars. Is less, more? So the other day I did a review of the Mach 3 and I pulled, I bought a shiny brand new Mach 3 handle and blade. Look at that. And I tell you what, when, with the first stroke, it took me back to when I first bought the Mach 3. I was all excited. Got it at the store, brought it home, and it was like, wah, wah, wah. And in my opinion, Gillette should have stayed with three. There was no reason for more bells, more whistles, more blades. Wow. Now the current model, the five bladed Gillette Fusion, is pretty much the go-to right now. Now there are other variations to this. You have a pivoting head and power and all that jazz, but I figured this would be cool for my midweek shave to test whether the three, the Mach 3, is better than five. Shave Wars is less, more, and I've never really done this, compare two products from the same manufacturer. So this is a first. But what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna shave on one side of my face using the Mach 3, and on the other side of my face, I'll use the Fusion. So I'll lather up, being that this is a Gillette program, and because I just love this product, I'm lathering up with my beloved Gillette Foam Mouse because I love it guys. It's light, goes on nice, smooth, never clogs. It's just beautiful. All right, here we go. First pass with the grain of my beard. Four day stubble. Oh, just nice guys. Nice, smooth, firm, but not too firm stroke. Let's go for three. Just beautiful, beautiful. The Mach 3, man, was a beautiful blade. Look at that. Or is. You can still get these guys. Links below. Pick them up. All right. Lube strip up top. Microfin technology down here. Rubber guide. No pain. No tugs. No nicks. No worries. Just beautifulness. I love this razor. Mach 3. Living near an active construction site. I'm not sure you can hear the beeping. It's every day. Every day, all day. I feel like I'm living in the Boston Big Dig. All right. Flipping the blade over to shave with the grain on the neck. Hair grows up. Perfect. What I like about this razor, guys, is the contact. You just feel like you have great control and contact. Look at that. And the Gillette products, guys, never tend to clog. And adorable. They just cost you an arm and a leg, but I guess sometimes you get what you pay for. Another great thing about Gillette product, that thin form factor, allows you to get all up in there the nooks and crannies, hard to reach spaces. All right, one pass in the books. See what the Fusion 5 is bringing to the table. Wow. All right, here we go, Fusion 5. A little bit different, guys, a little bit more. Not only in blades, but more of this rubber guide, more stimuli to the hairs. All right, and another doohickey, because it's a little bit wider, they give you a precision trimmer right here in the back. You probably can't see it all that well, but there you go. A blade to help you get up in there. Now let's go. Let's go. With the grain. Nice. Now to me, guys, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you I'm getting less contact 
which might be good for the folks that have sensitive skin. This little area right here is prohibiting me from really sinking those blades in. A little bit more tuggy. But still very smooth. Still worry free. Although it's a little tuggy, it's still worry free and nick free. Now if I want to get up and use that precision trimmer, that's a good feature. All right, let's go for the neck, guys. Nice, firm, but not too firm, strokes. When it's all said and done, you got to give a win to someone. Comparatively, very, very similar, guys. I felt more control, I enjoyed the shave, and I paid less for the Mach 3. So the wind goes to the Mach 3, and you know the drill. I'm gonna do one last pass with the winning razor. I'm gonna do a against the grain pass with my Mach 3. To me, less is more, guys. But you know what? I'm not going to kick the Fusion 5 out of the shaved in either. All right, let's go for the final pass. This is the glory lap. We're going to shave against the grain. All right, against the grain of the, of the uh, beard. So I'm going to turn that blade around and shave up. Oh, nice. You hear those blades? Three blades, boys. And that's just nice. You could do three passes. There's no irritation. There's no grabbing. There's no nicking. There's no tugs. There's no clogs. Just a beautifully made razor. Or a cartridge. Look at that. Not a weeper to be had. Now my man Mike Vance, who is usually one of the first people to watch every video I post, so I'm thanking you for being number one, bro. Mike Vance gets about a month out of his Gillette products, shaving every other day, because Mike Vance is cool like that. Look, listen to that. The contact, the control, with this Mach 3. It's just the form factor of that blade. Makes it a winner to me. All right, we'll go for the neck, last but not least. Oh, yeah. And here's my trick for you folks that have a pronounced Adam's apple like I do. You can either tug the skin to the side and shave it, or you can swallow hard and hold it. which flattens that area down, thus eliminating the Adam's apple from play. So there you have it, guys. My pick in the Gillette Shave Wars. I'm going for my Mach 3. Fusion's nice, but it's just a little bit too, too much. You don't need five blades. Let's go for three. And a recent viewer commented that I need to be using some aftershave, so... I'm pulling out my fave. This is Duke Cannon's aftershave bomb. Ice cold. It goes on nice, feels good, and looks good. Hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing that play. And I'll see you next time. Okay, today's shave is going to be a good one. I'm going to take one of my favorites, the Harry's Chrome Edition 5-Blade Razor against the Shave Logic S5. 
I've already used this one cartridge six times. This will be the seventh shave today. And the Chrome Harry's five blade. Well, I've only used it one other time. Now, what's interesting about these two razors is they share one common feature and it's the pivot. The pivot is organic and that is probably where the comparison will end. But without further ado, let's give it a go. guys it's been a while since i've shaved so i have a nice almost beard coming in and it's kind of a shame that it's summertime because i would like to grow my beard again i just don't know if i have the wherewithal to do it in the humidity and heat of the summer so we'll leave that as a fall project but it is six seven eight maybe nine days worth of growth here guys coming in really nicely so I am, you know, torn. Do I just do a neck shave today? Or do I take it all off? But since I am doing this comparison and I want to use Shave Logic until this first cartridge dulls, I'll just keep comparing them to razors until the first cartridge dulls out. So this will be my seventh shave. Each shave has been multiple passes, guys. And I'll tell you, I've been impressed so far. Lots of razors have gone down, including some of my favorites. But guys, today we're talking about Harry's. And I really like Harry's. I'll tell you what, if you're a wet shaver, if you're a DE shaver and you go to a cartridge, Harry's is probably the one that's the closest, you know, fit for a wet shaver because you've got lots of blade here. There's five blades that are ultra sharp. It's got precision. See that slim form factor there, guys? Slim form factor. So you can get up into the nooks and crannies. You can really sculpt around the hair. Uh, precision trimmer on the back. So if you did want to shape up here or get under your nose, you could do that as well. And loving the organic pivot. So it really it goes with or works with the contours of your face. Now, in comparison to the Shave Logic S5, very light, very lightweight. Even though it's a metal handle, this has so much heft. And that's one of the great pieces or the great features of the S5. Chromium and zinc handle, so it's all metal. Organic pivot again. And a little bit tighter. The orientation of the blade doesn't really give... Whereas, you know, with, with Harry's, you're really kind of, there's a lot of give there. So we'll see how it goes when you use it. Now, before I get shaving today, I want to send a shout out to the folks over at Mr. 1920, because these guys sent me a bunch of these cold pressed soap bars, all natural handmade cold pressed soap made right here in the USA. And I'll tell you guys, I'm loving them loving them this is their oat milk and honey look at that nice big hearty block of soap ah smells so good and look at the little oats the bits of oats in there to help exfoliate the skin just it it's been a revelation and i have to order some now my absolute favorite guys has been eucalyptus falls oh just a bright citrus smell guys with little bits of eucalyptus and the, the cooling and calming effects of eucalyptus. I use this just in the shower and I'll use it today as a pre-shave. So I'm gonna put some warm water on my face and get a little lather going. Then we're gonna be adding Perrazzo Red for folks with coarse beards. And to cap it all off today, we're gonna to be using Harry's post-shave mist. So without further ado, let's get rocking and rolling. We're going to go with some near hot water. We're going to clean the face, even though I just got out of the shower. Let's do it again because I love this soap so much. Oh, oh just wonderful. I wonder if I could shave with this, guys. Maybe I'll do a, 
a shave with some of this soap. But today we're gonna go with the Perrazzo. You see the nice lather there? And I'll tell you what, the handmade soap, cold pressed, no additives, no plastic bits, no nasty ingredients you don't want, and no dry flaky skin. Since I've been using this, my skin has been supple. I, I haven't had to put like lotion on my legs before I go out, I'm looking fine. Now why I like this soap as a pre-shave is it has a nice oily feel to it, an oily base. And I'm gonna need that with the Perrazzo because one of the things about this foam, it's a great foam, very calm, very earthy, but it has a tendency of drying out. Put a little bit of that foam on. Oh yeah. Now this has a very calm, cool, chalky, earthy feel to it. And a muted scent, which I actually really, really like. And again, I use a little bit more water than I would typically use on a foam out of a can because this does have a tendency of drying out, guys. But now that I have that on, we'll start with the Harry's Chrome Edition. And I'll shave on this side of my face with Harry's, this side, this side of my face with Shave Logic. Let's get cracking. It's doing really, really well, guys, with that long stubble. No problem. It's a very nice, sharp razor. It is the type of razor that you do have to take your time because you can get nicked up. Not as easy as, let's say, your Gillette. You know, not as much bumper control. More blade. But doing fine work of this long stubble. So I am noticing that I am picking up some hair, which is to be expected. Here's a tip, guys. I learned this. If you press down on the blades and pull against the blade, so going the direction of the blade, because if you go that way, you're gonna cut yourself, it pulls those hairs out. And no more clogging. So that's helpful. Helpful tip from the average guy. Now what I'm noticing with the Harry's is there's lots of spring up here, guys. So when I'm trying to get to this area here, it just bends a little too much. So the precision trimmer does come in handy for that because there's no give going backward. So you really need that precision tri uh, trimmer. Again, I've used this blade only one other time. And it's doing really, really well, cutting through this long growth. And I'm going with the grain of the hair on my face and for the most part on my neck. Although the hair on my neck kind of grows this way. Take your time. And you'll have to use just a little bit more pressure with Harry's. But you certainly don't want to dig. Nice. Close. Comfortable. Shave. It's been a while since I've shaved. And it feels good to have clean face and neck. You hear the feedback? Very, very nice. 
So first pass with Harry's is in the books. I'm not going to do too much today in terms of passes. Maybe one pass and a cleanup. So let's get over to Shave Logic again, guys. You've got this beautiful organic pivot. You've got the magnetic contact. You've got lots of heft. Beautiful razor. Seventh shave. And, oh, uh, guys, just wonderful. It's like the first shave. You've got some clogging going on. That's to be expected. Use my little trick. And it unclogs. All right, here we go. The contact that this razor makes with your face, just the, the angle is perfect. So if you read on the, on the website for Shave Logic, all of the patents and all of the time, 11 years studying the face and razors, and going back to the drawing board, it really has paid off because this is just a wonderful shave. And I don't know if you can tell, but I feel much more comfortable, much more protected by this blade set. Now there is no precision trimmer in the back. That's because the overall form factor of the head or the cartridge is very slight, very compact. So you can get into the nooks and crannies and there's no give really, or not as much give. So you've got that flat surface to really get in the nooks and crannies. And do you hear that feedback guys? You hear the feedback, look at all that hair. Beautiful. Oh yeah. The seventh shave is just as comfortable, just as effective, just as smooth as the first. Not even close, not even close for my money. I love the Harry's product, guys. It's very sharp, it's a comfortable shave. It's designed just beautifully, simple, simple design. Shave Logic just knocked it, just knocked it out of the water. So I'm gonna do one more pass with the Shave Logic S5. And by the way, I'm not getting paid to say this. Believe me, I reached out to Shave Logic and asked for a sample of their product. I haven't heard from them. So the one critique I will give, if I'm given any critique, is the people that do the social media are not reading their messages. Or at least they don't care. Maybe they don't care about me. But that's all right. I'm loving their product anyway. So I'm gonna load up a little bit more, a little bit neat, a little bit more near hot water. I'll do a, a get right pass with the winner of today's challenge and continued champion of the cartridge wars or the shave wars. We'll add a little bit more of our Perazzo red and we'll do a cleanup pass with shave logic. I'll do a mix of a against grain, cross grain, just get right, pass. Oh, it's so nice, guys. It's so nice. All right, let's do cross grain on the face. You hear the feedback? Oh, guys. Beautiful. Seventh shave. 
same cartridge. Perfect. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check out their website. I'm hoping they come to Amazon, but maybe they won't. Beautiful. And if the folks at Shave Logic would like to sponsor the show with a real enthusiast of their product, I'm all for that too. Because I am an enthusiast of the design of this razor, guys. Just beautiful. Beautifully done. Don't get me wrong, I'm loving Harry's. It's up there. There's all sorts of razors and products out there. And not every product will be right for you. So you need a, a few options. And Harry's, guys, Harry's is a great option. But for my money today, Shave 7 is a charm, guys. The Shave Logic S5. Average guy tested, average guy approved. Beautiful. So here's one of my favorite products as of late. It's Harry's Post Shave Mist with Botanical Extracts. You just mist it on uh, liberally. And it dries. Oh, nice. And you're smelling good, you're looking good, you're feeling good. Beautiful. I'll let this air dry on a towel and I'll be ready for shave number eight. And I think I'm gonna go luxury and pit this against Gillette's Heater Razor next. We'll find out if $25, the starter kit, so it would be this handle and four blades. We'll see how that fares against a $200 razor. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate your support. By the way, guys, if you haven't been around in a while, I just surpassed 25,000 subscribers, and I know you are one of them, and I want to thank you for that. Guys, I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. Play. Average guy tested. Average guy approved. <laughs> Okay, today's shave is going to be a good one. We're going to pit the new Shave Logic S5 up against an old school classic, the Gillette Sensor XL. And we'll find out if two blades are better than five. Now, this Sensor XL cartridge has been used one previous time. Two blades, loop strip, rubber guide. Old school, very nice. Our Shave Logic razor has been used five times, so this will be our sixth use, or this will be my sixth shave. Five blades, lube strip, rubber guide, beautiful. Let's get cracking. All right, guys, it's been a long weekend. And I'll tell you what, it was hot, super hot in New York for the last couple of days. Temperatures in the 90s. And I was gonna let the goatee grow, but it just, the heat and the dirt and the humidity, I'm gonna take it off. And I'm gonna continue my shave with this innovative, 
unique, super awesome Shave Logic S5 razor. This will be the sixth shave with this cartridge. And I'll show you, for those of you who may just be joining now, the innovation, the unique characteristics of this razor. First off, it's got a chromium and zinc handle, so it's all metal handle. Beautifully crafted. There's, there's ridges here. It's hefty. It's not slippy. Fits really good in your hand, especially when you're going with the against, grave, against grain pass, guys. Just nice. Second off, or secondly, five blades of fun in a tight little space. You've got your lube strip, you've got the rubber guide. This rubber guide also is part of the pivoting mechanism. It's an organic pivot, not mechanical. There's not a little pin in here. It doesn't just go to one setting and flop back. It's tight or like a rubber band, fits tightly across the contours of your face. Absolutely, there's nothing really like it with the exception of Harry's, which has a similar pivoting system. And that will be the next shave, by the way. Shave number seven will be against Harry's. But today, we're gonna be bringing up the Gillette, an old school favorite, the Gillette Sensor XL. But there's one other unique feature about this S5, this magnetic contact, right? Beautiful. Can't go on the other way, only one way for it to go on and fits nicely. There's lots of contact here. I've had no problems with it slipping off. Just a wonderfully designed, great smooth shave. Okay, old school Sensor XL guys. This is the first razor I ever used back in the day. Beautiful, slim form factor here. In fact, very similar form factors. Very slight head, so you can get into the nooks and crannies under here. You've got lots of control. You've got that mechanical pivot, if you will. Two blades, lube strip up top, and the micro fin technology, this rubber guide down here. Very nice, very light. Like we've got some rubber tabs here that keep this from being slippy, but a light razor comparatively, much, much more heft with the S5. And guys, I always say, we're not digging, we're shaving. Let the weight of the device do the work. You have more heft here to deal with, but let's get right into it. To keep things simple, guys, I'm gonna be using Gillette Foam Mousse, right out of the can, barbershop smell. I love this product, it's hard to find today. I'll leave a link in the description box for the products here. If they're available on Amazon, they'll be shipped right to your door, guys. That'll be something awesome for you and something awesome for me. That's a win-win. All right, a little warm water. I just jumped out of the shower, but I'll put a little bit more warm water on my face and neck, and it gets your skin ready to receive the blade. Now, the goatee's been on for about nine days. I have about a day and a half worth of stubble here, and it's all coming off today. One side of the face will be Shave Logic, and the other shot side of the face will be the Gillette Sensor XL. By the way, I want to thank Jimmy G for suggesting this shave. And one other viewer today talked about the XL. So I'll have to go back and read my comments and give that that dude credit down the line. But Jimmy G shot me a text just the other day and said, your next shave war with Shave Logic. Let's find out if two blades are better than five. All right, I'm gonna switch things up, going back and forth. 
I'm gonna go with the Gillette Sensor XL on this side of my face. And I'll use this to start, guys. Old school. Respect the elders, we'll let them go first. It's a very nice shave, guys. Very controlled. Very smooth. There's good protection and good feedback. Now it's dealt with the non-goatee or the shorter stubble extremely well. I'll continue down here on the neck. Nice fluid strokes, guys. Taking my time. and not digging. You don't want to dig, you want to shave. All right, let's attack the goatee. And it's done the trick there with limited tug. You're talking again, eight and a half days of stubble, nine days. No real clogging. Very nice. Look at all that hair. And because of the slight form factor, guys, like I said earlier, you can get up into the nooks and crannies and eliminate that hair under your nose. Very nice first pass with the Sensor XL, guys. Now, let's hop over to the S5 from Shave Logic. Again, this is the sixth time I'm using the same cartridge. I'm gonna test it until the cartridge gets dull. We're looking at five blades and we're looking perfect, guys. Very, very nice. Still as sharp as can be, smooth. Look at that. Protective, comfortable shave. No clogging on the shorter hair. So we'll just eliminate that first. Easy strokes. Ah, nice. All right, guys, so let's tackle the long stubble. Again, we're looking at eight days of growth. And I tell you, five blades gives you just a little bit more horsepower when you're dealing with long stubble. Very nice guys, look at all that hair. Very nice. First pass is in the books, guys. I'll add another layer of foam mousse. I'll go a little lighter with a little bit more water for the second pass. And right now I'll have to say, guys, very, very comparable shaves in terms of comfort in terms of control, in terms of lack of irritation, lack of pull, tug, very, very close. We'll go back to our sensor XL. 
and we'll flip the blade upside down. We'll start on our neck and we'll go with an against the grain pass. Oh yeah. Just a very enjoyable shave, guys. Just simple, easy. No bells. No whistles. Just a nice, simple, great shave. I'm not pushing it here. I'm just letting the device glide across my face. Very, very nice, guys. Now let's come over to our S5 side. We'll flip the blade. Oh, you hear that feedback? Very nice. Oh. I just feel more contact, smooth, Much less tuggy here. Then the XL. I have much more confidence. And again, because of the slight form factor, I can get in the nooks and crannies, guys. So while I believe the sensor is a great old school, simple, awesome shave, I'm feeling a little bit of irritation here, a little bit of irritation on this side, whereas on the shave logic side, I'm feeling no pain, guys. So I'm gonna go with my last to go with the last pass i'm gonna go across grain with the winner and still champ of the cartridge war in my humble opinion the shave logic s5 yep the new boy on the block or the new kid on the block has been winning the cartridge wars and I'll just go one more pass we'll let the device do the work I'll give you some feedback oh that's nice There's no worry, no fear. No pain. No nicks, no tugs, no irritation. I sound like a broken record. Beautiful shave.
Six shaves in the books with the same cartridge. Perfect. So now I'm going to splash or rinse off with cold water and I'll apply my aftershave. But I've got a great shave, guys. Really, baby's bottom smooth. And I'm really not seeing any deterioration in the effectiveness of that S5 cartridge. After six shaves, I've been doing multiple passes on each shave. So in the real world, it's performing pretty well. I think the Gillette products say are slated for about 15 shaves. We'll see how long this S5 continues to perform. Let's rinse off with cold water. And since my man Jimmy G got me into this shave, I'm going to use something he sent me, this Blade Arctic Blue Cooling Aftershave that you can buy at CVS. It's a CVS brand. Wow, yeah. Very nice, guys. Arctic Blue Cooling Effect. Uh, it also has a nice old school smell to it. And it feels oh so fine. Well, there you go, guys. The Shave Logic S5. After six shaves, average guy tested, average guy approved. I love my Sensor XL too, guys. Old school, just goodness. Beautiful, simple razor. But for my money, I'm going to have to go with the S5. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. And I also want to note that probably either today or tomorrow, I will eclipse 25,000 subscribers. It's a pretty big milestone for me, and I wanna thank you guys for being part of the ride, and let's bring more people in. Send my videos to your friends. Tell them to subscribe if they're into silliness, shaving, cars, food. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would consider subscribing. But I want to thank you guys, and I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day. But in the meantime, you know what to do. So the, uh, the shave yesterday certainly didn't help my game as you can see but I'll tell you what the sensor side of my face when the sweat started to come out you know I'm getting into a lather on the court it all of it is just burning so the day after the shave the shave logic side cool as a cucumber the sensor XL side under here over here I'm telling you this razor continues to defy logic all right i'm gonna get back to my missing see you guys later keep pushing play you know what to do keep pushing play guys I'm fresh out of the shower today I'm gonna be answering a viewers request today's video was inspired by a viewers request so guys if you keep sending your requests over keep sending your comments over and if you're a subscriber to the channel let me know because that's gonna become more and more important because I believe I'm going to start giving stuff away. I need every subscriber I can get. So if you watch my videos, you enjoy them, but you haven't subscribed for some reason, please subscribe. I might be giving stuff away. Anyway, so this comes from a viewer's request. We got two great, beautifully designed razors. And, you know... I think I'm going to fire my video producer. 
because that dude's been slacking. If anybody knows of a good video producer who will work for food, let me know. Anyway, I don't have the name of the subscriber, but I will put it on the screen. And at the end of the video, maybe I'll give something away. Maybe I'll even give something away to the person that gave me the suggestion. That might be nice. Anyway, if you gave me the suggestion, you're going to be flashing up on the screen now. I want to thank you and I'll be in touch, but you have to be a subscriber. <laughs> but here are two beautifully crafted razors. On my right, you have the Henson AL13 in the mild setting. Again, I believe that's the case. The producer is just, my producer, the notes aren't here. And then on the left, I have the twig from Leaf. What a beautiful single blade, beautifully crafted single blade razor, but both very nice. Dude wanted me to do a comparison, a shave war. Shave war. All right, let's go. Just jumped out of the shower, running about just under five days of growth. So I've steamed up and now I'm just putting a little bit, of, little bit more warm water to the face to get the shave going. Guys, today I'm in a rush. So I'm gonna be going with foam out of a can, but it's a good foam, Perrazzo Red. Look at that, guys. Nice, earthy foam out of a can. Oh yeah, that's nice. Now Perrazzo has a tendency of drying out. I know this. So I'm going to start on one side of my face, then I'm going to slick up and wet up on the other side to give the second razor the benefit of moist lather. But we're going to be doing our three pass system. I'm going to be starting first pass. starting first pass with the grain and I will start with this beautifully machined AL 13 from Henson it's very nice look at that guys CNC machined I think a product made in Canada just a lovely product and I'm gonna oh yeah so smooth so gentle because there's really, if you look at the way it's machined, look at that, oh, if you look at the way it's machined, look at that gap, and I'll give you some close-up shots. That blade is just right there. There's not a lot of overhang. And it's just one of the smoothest shades I've ever enjoyed. Now again, it's the mild. Version. And I believe with the, with the, with the Henson product, I believe there are three versions of this razor. Don't quote me again, got to fire my video producer because the guy's falling down on the job. But I believe there are three, the mild, like a medium, and a more aggressive razor. Now my neck, the hair on my neck grows in all different directions. So I flip the blade up, or I flip the blade over, guys, and I shave upward. Just kind of the way I learned. DE shaving, so it's in the muscle memory. But if I'm being honest, the hair on my neck grows out this way on the sides and up on the middle or in the middle. So that first pass, guys, is in the books. And I'm telling you, smooth, effortless, tremendously light, beautifully designed, wonderful hints and shave. All right. And I'm using... Astra Greens 
for both devices. Again, about five days of growth and a little bit more of the Perrazzo bread. This Perrazzo smells nice. Again, it's got a very earthy feel to it, smell. But it will dry out if you let it. This is the leaf twig. Now with leaf, it's a single blade razor or single edge. And there are two versions of this razor. The twig has a milder gap or it gives you a milder experience. And then they have the thorn, which is slightly more aggressive. Again, beautifully crafted, a lot heavier, so it's got some weight to it, but a slight form factor on the head. So you feel like you have very good control. It's very precise, easy to wield. Very, very nice. And mild and as smooth as they come, guys. So right off the tip, when I'm dealing with the nooks and crannies, I just feel like I have more access. Shave one or pass one is in the books. Now I'll splash on more warm water and we'll go for pass two, which is gonna be a cross grain pass. I'll take this and smooth across the skin. You can't beat it for a DE, guys. You can't beat it. It's very light. It's very mild. There's no worry. There's no irritation. And on the cross grain is with the Henson is when I get up into the nooks and crannies. Just a very, very nice, very controlled shave. All right. Now, since these razors actually make quick work of my whiskers, the Perrazzo isn't really, doesn't really have the time to dry out. And that's what I love about both of these razors. Is it just so easy to use? Look at that. They're both effortless. in terms of getting to where you need to get, in terms of comfort and control. I'm gonna give the aggressive nod to the twig, slightly more aggressive than the Henson product. So of the two mild razors, this is the way to go if you're looking for the absolute and mildness on the mild setting. If you're looking for control and a little bit more aggression, third and final pass, we'll throw the Perrazzo on once more. And we'll go with the final pass, which is gonna be an against grain pass. We'll start with Henson. So if your hair is growing downward on your face and you want to go against grain, you flip it upside down and you do your final 
get right past. Look at that. Ah, oh, very nice. You guys still hearing the feedback? Flip the blade. Still hearing the feedback, but you have a nice mild shave. Now, traditional grip to go against the grain on the neck. And there you go, guys. Henson AL13 is in the books. Beautiful razor, beautifully crafted. Look at that. All right, let's finish up on the twig side. Again, I'm gonna flip the blade. Very, very nice, guys. And I'm just going to wind up and close out this shave. Very, very nice. They're both very, very nice, guys. But if I'm answering the question, the comment, and the request for sensitive skin with these two, I'm going to have to go with the Henson AL-13, there's no irritation. There were no weepers. It's just nice and smooth, no fear, very light, easy to wield. I wouldn't kick the twig out of the conversation if you have sensitive skin. I've said it from the beginning, this is the best shave of my life when it comes to uh, a more traditional wet shaving product. Beautifully crafted, beautifully designed, but I'm feeling a little bit more, uh, I'm feeling a little bit of some irritation. I did see one little weeper. I did feel more contact with the blade, which quite frankly, I enjoy. And many of you do, but if you're looking for the ultimate in sensitive skin or the ultimate razor for sensitive skin on the wet shaving side, I would have to say between these two and these two are some of the best. The Henson AL-13, average guy tested, average guy approved. Now, if you want a little bit more feedback, if you want a little bit more control to do sculpting and you can deal with a little less or a little bit more friction, I don't think you can do much better than the, the Leaf Twig. And by the way, these guys are awesome. Adam and Adam, the founders of Leaf, are just awesome guys. Great to deal with, great customer service. If you have a question, if you have a problem, which you probably won't, get in touch with them, they're awesome. Tell them both the average guy sent you. And again, guys, whoever sent the comment in, I'm flashing your name up here. Let me know which one, which one you want. And I'm gonna send it to you if you're in the States. Because if you're not in the States, it may be more money to ship the thing to you. We'll figure something out. But let me know. Contact me. You got to be subscribed to the channel. Reach out to me either on the channel or on Twitter or on Facebook or Instagram. And I'll get one of these products out to you. Brah. All right, guys. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Oh, I got to do the aftershave. I really do need a new video producer, guys. Because... My man is sleeping at the job. He's sleeping on the job. All right, pat the skin dry. And we're going to go with an all-time favorite. I've been hearing about this. Duke Cannon's Ice Cold. A little bit of this. I need a new bottle. Ah, oh, this is a great product. Goes on icy. And then it brings the heat. 
just a wonderful product for your aftershave. But again, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to shave with next. And you never know. You just may be highlighted on the channel. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. Play. Just got my 30 minutes in. I just got back. And it just started to pour. Ugh. Oh. All right, guys, before we get cooking, shout out to all the Pace University folks coming out in May. Congratulations, guys. What's better, three blades or five? Well, thanks to Schick, we're going to find out. Their new Skin Comfort Hydro 5 handles. So both of these handles will fit the Hydro 5 cartridges and also the three blade cartridges that you're seeing here. Five blades, three blades. Let's go. Okay guys, stay tuned for the end of the video where I'll be showing the unboxing of both of these products. Some of you are asking me to put some polish on the beard. I'm not putting polish on the beard, just like I'm not putting plugs in my bald head. I'm all natural. Now I just jumped out of the shower, so I've steamed up. I'm just going to apply a little bit more near hot water on the skin. And I'm going to be using, it's an all Schick day. I'm going to be using Schick's Extreme Moisturizing Shave Foam. Smells really nice, guys. And goes on thin, which I like from a foam. You've got your Gillette foamy, not foam mousse, but the foamy, and like a Barbasol being the thickest out of the can, which is cool. But I tend to like a thinner foam. We're gonna keep the goatee as per eye money, and we're gonna start off with our three bladed Hydro Skin Comfort. Very nice, guys. Smooth, protective, easy, carefree. Nice. Starting the first pass with the grain, guys. And it did quick work of my face. Now I'll take it down to the neck. Nice, easy strokes. Good pivot, good control. Decent amount of feedback. And you see how quick and easy that was? Now Schick makes a really, really cool product. Let's take a look at it. You have this lube strip with these gel pods. They emit some nice lubricating gel with each stroke. And guys, that's wonderful, wonderful feeling. A little tingle going from that Schick foam, which I like. I have to check the ingredients to see if there's any menthol in it. Now we're gonna go with our Hydro 5. Now there's a double pivot in the Hydro 5 handle. If you like that pivot here and that pivot there, or if you don't like it, you can lock it. I'm gonna keep it open since it's a little bit of a differentiator and let's see how it goes. All right, five blades. Nice contact. I feel the difference. I feel more contact with my face. Still very protective. Still very smooth. Made quick work of that.
pass. Very quick, very easy, no thoughts, no worries, no nicks, no tugs. Let's do the, the feel test. Comparable shave, guys. A little bit more warm water. And this is what may make or break the five blade experience. So right now, they're very comparable. But now I'm gonna do an against the grain pass. With two more blades, there's two more areas of friction, two more areas of potential cause of irritation. Let's add the Schick foam again. Really like this stuff. Very nice lemony smell to it, citrusy lemony smell. Sort of a green apple smell, maybe. Little green apple, maybe. Very nice though, subtle, but, but there. And again, it goes on nice and thin. Now we'll go with three blades against the grain. So I'm going to flip the blade upside down, start on the neck. And I'm shaving up. Very nice. No nicks, no tugs, no clogs. No issues, no problems on the against the grain pass. No tugging, no weepers. I think each of these blades is individually cushioned. I think that's the difference between the skin comfort and the traditional Hydro 5 cents. All right, against the grain. Take that all the way up to the gautay. Still very comparable shaves. Hear that feedback though? More feedback. Definitely with the five. No clogging. Nice. I want to say I'm very, very impressed. I think it's a push, guys. Let me do the feel test here. What seems to be a closer shave. Well, the Hydro 5 Skin Comfort is a little bit of a closer shave, but that's to be expected. And if you're not paying the penalty of irritation, of grabbing, of clogging for five blades, then maybe more is more. Another difference in the five bladed cartridge from the folks at Schick that is not on the three blade is you can pop that and you have a precision trimmer. I haven't had great luck with precision trimmers, so I try to avoid them at all costs. And basically what it does is it exposes that top blade. It exposes the top blade. The Gillette and many other precision trimmers tend to be on the back. This is unique, where that just exposes Gives you access to that blade. You could get in here and trim that gouté. If you want to, if you aren't to. And I'm not going to go crazy because I don't want to make a mistake. But very, very nice. Comparable shades in, in the sense of irritation, of tugging, of pulling. They both performed really, really well. Slightly more stubble is gone on the five side than on 
the three side. And if I want to give it another go and I want to do a cross grain, which is typically what I would do for my second pass. But since I'm here, let's do a cross grain pass. Just for shits and giggles, guys. Let's see. I'm trying to eliminate one of these. Try to make one stumble. We're gonna do a cross grain pass all the way up to that goatee. And this will eliminate that, those bits of stubble that I was feeling. Take your time. Don't get cocky because you're not feeling anything. You can always nick yourself up, especially on these cross grain and against grain passes. But I tell you what, guys, that is a nice, smooth shave. The three is awesome. Let's go back over to our five and we'll do the same. Feather pass, take your time. You hear the snappiness of that blade or the cartridge head? It's a lot more snappy on the five blade than on the three blade. And it's sharper, guys. Felt a little bit of a grab. So you really want to take your time. But I tell you what, with, with that slight, with that slight, and you can see a little bit of blood, with that slight nip, Very, very comparable. All right, now guys, I'm gonna flash or rinse with cold water. I'll close the pores and then I'll give you my final thoughts. I'm gonna finish up today with the Long Rifle Hawkeye Shave Tonic. My girl, Jackie, bought this for me. Really, really nice. It's a cedar wood, lavender, and citrus. A little splash of this. So nice. Oh, yeah. It's got an oily base to it, so I'm going to use it today as a makeshift ah, beard oil, and it just smells divine. All right, final thoughts, guys. If you're of the opinion that three blades is better than five, you're not losing anything by going with the Skin Comfort 3. If you're in the house that loves more blades, more power, again, you're not losing anything with the five. If I were going to use one of these either day, I'd probably opt for the five, and here's why. It has a little bit more snap you have the ability to lock or unlock the second pivot, which I like. So you lock it up and it's a little bit more stable. You do have the precision trimmer, which is nice for some folks, even though I don't love it. So I would opt for this nice, beautiful shave. Now guys, as usual, I'm gonna leave links to the products featured here in the description box below. That way, if you're interested in one of these products, you can have it shipped right to you and you'll be doing something for you, something for me and the CMO. And guys, you know that's a win-win. It's a win-win. Now, I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching today. This Friday, I'm gonna get back to live and do a midnight shave. It's gonna be a budget wars. Thanks to my boy, Jimmy G. I'll pick out two budget razors. I'll pit them up against each other in a nice midnight shave. So be there midnight Eastern time this Friday for a Budget Wars midnight shave. 
Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. You're going to keep pushing play. All right, guys, I want to thank the folks at Schick for introducing these new products. Gives me some new stuff to talk about. Let's unbox them. And we're going to start here with the Hydro Skin Comfort, the three bladed version. Now, both of these blades and, and handles are compatible with the Hydro 5. In fact, it says it fits Hydro 5. So if you buy this handle, you can use the Hydro 5 bladed cartridge, or you can go with these three bladed cartridges. Now, I'm one that really likes for cartridge shaves, three blades as opposed to five. So less equals more. But let's take a look, let's unbox them. Now I like this new package. So there is your hydro handle. Very nice, very elegant. Has sort of a Mach 3 sweep to it. Pivoting head. Three blades of fun. The Schick gel pods. So this loop strip has these little independent little pods of gel that help lubricate every stroke or with every stroke. Rubber guide at the bottom. And does it have the... No, it does not have the precision trimmer. But very, very nice. This pack comes with three additional cartridges. It's the value pack. Now here is the Hydro Skin Comfort 5 blade. Again, fits Hydro 5, makes sense. And let's, now right off the top, I do notice a difference. There's a little bit more heft to this. Slightly more heft. We also have the double pivoting head. So the head pivots here as well as on the cartridge. Now that can be locked as on most hydro handles. So if you don't like the double um, pivot for some reason, you can lock that up. You've got the same gel pods up top, loop strip, guide at the bottom, five blades. But this has the precision trimmer. So you pull this back and you have access to that top blade for trimming. I don't have real good success with precision trimmers. There's not enough protection. And the angle is always incorrect. So I try to avoid them. But if you like a precision trimmer, you want to get the, the five blade. Again, these blades, if I pop this off, here's the five blade. If I pop off the three and I go to the five, it fits. So this is the the Hydro 3 handle. With the five blade. And if I wanted to use this Hydro five handle with three blades, I could do that as well. But I'm gonna leave them the way they came. Very, very nice. That's it, now time to clean up. I write a quick video with my coffee this morning. Now I am still letting the beard grow. And let me just say, thanks for all the comments telling me to do what 
is good for me, giving me input on what you'd like to see. I really appreciate all the comments. And I'm still trying to figure it out, but I do need to shave because I do go into the office every day. So I want to be presentable while I'm trying to figure it out, guys. So today, I'm going to be doing a neck cleanup. And I'm going to be highlighting a couple of new products. I've been looking at this for a long time. Zangari Man. This brand is cool. I don't know what it is. It's crafted by hand. Just has a nice ring to it. Here's their Explorer, which has a nice citrus woods and vinegar smell. Oh, it's kind of a light and airy, citrusy smell to it, guys. Nice new soap for me. And they have a companion recovery splash. So an aftershave with the same citrus woods vetiver essence, of course. I'm going to open this guy up and get into the shave. I'm also going to be showing you the difference between two power cartridge razors. That's right, a lot of you have been asking, when's my next cartridge review? I'm gonna give you a look at both. I've done reviews of these separately, but I'm gonna pit them head to head. You know the drill, one side I'll use the Gillette Fusion Power, and the other side I'll use the Dorco Power Six Blade, all right? Of course, I will be using my favorite brush, the Pacific Shaving Companies natural cork handle brush. You've got sustainability in mind, but it's also a very light brush. All right, soft on the hand, but it has a hard core and it has the best synthetic knot in the business. They're still available, guys. Get them while you can. It's going to be a collector's item and I love it. And nice, nice uh, narrow diameter knot too, because I'm just going to be dealing with under here. So this is a non-traditional shave for me, guys. Usually I would shave after I get in the shower, but I just woke up and had my coffee from Abe's Grill in Corinth, Mississippi. The best biscuits in the South. Abe's Grill, shout out. Mm. And I'm just gonna get right into it. I just need a short cleanup. So I'm gonna... Just gonna splash a little near hot water. Because I'm looking for brevity on this shave. I'm looking for a little brevity, guys. And then I'll jump into the shower after. I'm just doing a nice cleanup. No need to rush, no need to uh, get a whole big steam going. The beautiful thing about a synthetic knot is you don't have to wet soak it. So just run that in to, under a little warm water. Pull the tin up, right? And we'll swirl right into that tin. I like to do oh, about 15 seconds of swirling. I can see right off the bat I didn't I didn't have enough water on the brush. And we'll work that. We'll we'll attend to that when we get to lathering on the face. Maybe I'll put a little, little bit more water on the brush here. All right, and I'll just go right to the neck. Swirl that in. We don't need a lot here today, guys. This is gonna be a short video. This is a run and gun cut apropos for your cartridge shave. And again, I'm just gonna be eliminating that hair on my neck, doing a neck cleanup. And I'll start off with the big boy, Gillette. Take a look at that. Gillette Fusion Power. So the Gillette model is very light very light got a nice pivot to it five blades of fun We've got a big bumper down here and loop strip up top you also have a precision trimmer on the back let's get to cracking i'm gonna shave upward 
towards that that line I've created. And I'm fighting through a little bit of this shaving soap, this shaving lather, or shaving cream. Makes a nice slick. Nice slick application. And that's easy. Easy peasy, guys. Two passes for the price of one. Very nice, smooth. The power on this power razor is, you can hear that, it's a strong vibration. Very, very nice. Okay, let's go over here to the Dorco power. Now this is a little bit different because it has six blades. You've got a pivot here. So the pivots hinge towards the bottom. It's got the precision trimmer. It's got a smaller rubber guard and a loop strip up top. You see, I've used these two before. The precision trimmer on the back. Very nicely designed and heftier, slightly heftier and less vibration. So let's see how this compares. Oh, nice. Right off the tip, I feel like I have more control with this razor. I feel like I have more, um, sort of like a sports car. There's more grip. I feel more in control. I'll do our two passes here. Very nice. And you're hearing the feedback as well. Still feel protected. But I, I, I'm loving the feel of this, guys. I'm loving the pivot. I'm loving the contact. But similar results, similar feel. We're going to go with one more pass. And I'll do a cross grain pass, which usually separates the men from the boys. I'll add a little bit more water and I'll come back up here and lather once more. We'll do a cross grain just to clean up. And I'm going to add more water, guys, because that was thick. That was like a thick, thick Greek yogurt, which is great for the entire face. But for just doing this, it felt like it was fighting through. Oh, that's nice, though. Oh, this is a wonderful, very light, very subtle smelling soap. Ladders up nice and easy and provides a really, really, really sublime protection barrier. And with that cross grain pass, not trying to do too much. This cross grain pass is usually my second pass, but Today I hit it up on the third. And again, not trying to do too much. I'm letting the device do all the work. And I am letting the contours of my neck dictate where the razor goes. I'm not forcing. You never want to force. You don't want to dig. Maintaining that nice line. So I have the ability to uh, grow or have a foundation for big beard if I wanted to. All right, so now we're gonna go with our pace. Come back over here. Again, more control. Much more control with this, with the pace here. A better feeling of the blades so if you like to feel the blade, 
if you're looking for more precision, let's say, closer to a DE experience while still being in a cartridge. This door goes similar to a Harry's where you're feeling more of the blades. Look at the difference between the size of the bumper guard, bumper control. That really controls the protection that you're getting. You're gonna have to be a little bit more diligent on this side with the Dorco, but I, I prefer it. Very, very nice. Do the field test, very nice. Searching for BBS. Let's splash off, rinse off, and we'll apply the aftershave or the post shave recovery. So as you can see, it neatens up the look of that beard. So you're presentable. And this may be the way I rock for a while, guys. So I'll have to incorporate some beard care tips if I decide to go this way. But who knows, I'm having fun with the beard right now. And it looks nice and clean. This Singari man, very, very nice. The Explorer, I would highly recommend this. This is a really kind of a wow for me. You know, first time out of the gate with it. Just a very nice soap. Very nice soap. Very slick. Lots to give. So if you were shaving your face, you don't need much, guys. It smells really divine, but very light. So if you're the type that doesn't like a lot of fragrance. And I'll try this Recovery Splash. Oh, really nice. A little bit more in terms of uh, fragrance on the Recovery, which is nice. So a little linger. Ah, oh, very, very smooth, guys. Smooth smelling, just beautiful. Maybe shake it up a little. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, nice recovery splash. Here we go. Throw a little bit into the beard, why not? Maybe even throw a little into your hair. What you have left. But there you go, guys. You've got Zangari Man. The Explorer. Very, very nice product. Average guy tested, average guy approved. We're looking at the two power razors. You take your pick. I'm leaning towards the Dorco. Just a very uh, different feel to it. A little bit more precise than the Fusion. And you don't say that much where Gillette is has been outdone but Gillette has been outdone today as always I love this brush Pacific Shaving Company's natural cork handled brush you got to get over and get it all right I know this has been a quick video but I thank you for watching and guys I will see you next time remember I have a couple of auto reviews to drop and I'm always looking for your feedback did you like this video what do you think? All right, guys, see you next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing that play. So this is gonna be a first. Never really had a shave war between three different razors. And here's the reason why, guys. Because of this new razor from Schick called the Stubble Eraser. So first pass, I'm gonna be using the stubble eraser to knock down my long growth. And then we'll move into the Schick Hydro Five Cents limited edition camo handle, five blade, super smooth razor against the Shave Logic S5. Now, what am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? Let's get shaving.
guys, before I get rocking and rolling today, I want to send two shout outs. The first is going to be to the dude that cut my hair at the Gentleman's Chop Shop in Glen Cove, New York. Isaac, thank you, brah. If you live in the area and you want a fresh hairdo, get over to the Gentleman's Chop Shop and ask for my boy Isaac. He'll take care of you. I'll leave information about Isaac and the Chop Shop in the description box below. I also want to send a hearty thank you to the folks at Mr. 1920. I am halfway through my first bar of their charcoal and aloe cold pressed all natural handmade soap. In fact, I'm just about to jump into the shower, get a nice steam going and get my face, body and mind prepared for the shave. Nice smell to it, guys. My skin's feeling nice and hydrated. It's taking the day in the dirt off and leaving me with just oh so fine, very nice, supple skin, no dry patches, no chemicals, handmade, cold pressed, USA, Mr. 1920. Information in the description box below. All right, guys, I'm gonna hop in the shower, and get a good steam going for this, I wanna say, six day growth. And really that's why I'm bringing out the stubble eraser, guys. So I'm gonna say that the Schick product has a little bit of an advantage today. Let's see if the Shave Logic S5 can continue to defy logic. Fifth shave coming up. Okay, so I've got a fair amount of stubble, just so you can see that. Now I've just got out of the shower, so pores are open. My face is ready to receive the blade. That soap, that charcoal and aloe soap from Mr. 1920 is just, it's wonderful, guys. Well, I can't say enough about how great that product is. All right, so let's get right to it. Now I'm gonna go old school and I'm gonna go simple. I'm not complicating things up today. Coming right out of the can, Gillette Foam Mouse. It's one of my favorites, guys. It has an old barbershop smell to it. And since I was just at the gentleman's cut, the gentleman's cut, the chop shop, and Glen Cove, my man Isaac, gave me a gentleman's cut. I'll use the barbershop smell. Now, Isaac told me he can also trim up my beard, my goatee. So we'll see, maybe I'll do a video from there at some point soon. But today we're shaving and I'm putting Shave Logic, their S5, through the paces. I've shaved with this razor. This will be my fifth shave. I really wanna see how long each cartridge will, you know, work for the average guy because it could be the best shave. But if it's really expensive, you gotta consider that, right? Look what I'm doing for you guys. All right, so first I'm gonna pit it up against the stubble eraser, which is designed just for six, seven, eight, nine, 14 days of growth maybe, or maybe it's seven. I think it's seven. They suggest that this is the razor you use on seven days of stubble. It's got three blades and it's got this little comb there that I guess funnels the hair and really makes it a clog free, tug free experience. I'm gonna give this a go first. What am I waiting for? Let's get cracking. First pass with the grain. Oh yeah, it's very nice, smooth. Goes through, cuts through that stubble like a hot knife through butter. And there's no tugging, guys. Will the S5 have what it takes to compete? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna leave the goatee for now. And I'm gonna continue 
just taking off the long stubble on my neck. with the grain for the first pass. No tugs, no nicks, no clogs, no problems. And guys, that's what this is designed for. The stubble eraser. I've done a review of this. If you haven't seen it already, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check it out. Not so great in subsequent passes, but really, really great at ripping long stubble off. You know, when you have a long stubble, you have a, almost a beard and you go to use a cartridge, how, yeah. This takes that problem away. So now let's go to our S5 by Shave Logic. This is my fifth shave with this cartridge. Beautiful thing about these cartridges, guys. Look at that magnetized, sits in there nice. It's got an organic pivot. There's a rubber strap here on the back that keeps this organic. It's essentially like a rubber band. And what's nice about it is it's not a mechanical pivot. So it doesn't pivot to a spot and then lay there. It actually works with the contours of your face. It gives and goes back based on the real world territory or the real world terrain of your face. All right, let's give this a go. Fifth shave, long stubble, no problem, no tugging. Beautiful. Now, I did have a little bit of clogging with this. So I'm taking my time and I'm noticing some clogging. But it doesn't seem to be affecting the shade. But again, we're dealing with seven days of stubble. And I'm super, super impressed because it's not pulling. You've got control. But there is significant clogging. So I'm gonna have to work to remove the clog. So I do remember in the marketing material, them saying that each of the five blades is sort of on an independent pivot or a cushion, if you will. So I've just realized that if you do this, you can make those blades move and really get the hair out of the device. So I think I've learned how to unclog it. But with the clogging guys, I'm going to say it's a damn near push. More control with Shave Logic, better feel to it. And and really what it does, guys, or what it what does it for me is the fact that you see that pivot? It's kind of a light touch. However, with this pivot, it's it's there and it snaps back. And that is really the biggest difference. And the fact that traditional five blade with long growth, you'd get like tugging. So it's passed the tug test. All right, let's go to pass number two. Gillette found mouse for our second run. Oh, I love this stuff, guys. Just very, very nice. Fresh, old school, vibe and it is starting to pour outside it's been raining cats and dogs 
for the last few days. Killed our Memorial Day weekend. Not the spirit of the weekend, but the weather was a drag. Shout out to all of the veterans out there, for the folks that sacrificed their lives to make sure people like me can make videos and post them on YouTube, say what I wanna say, go where I wanna go, be who I wanna be, hats off. Thank a veteran and remember a lost soul that was found for your freedom. All right, so now I'm gonna pull out the camo limited edition Schick Hydro 5 Cents. And we'll get rocking with this. I'm gonna do an against the grain pass. So I'm gonna flip this upside down for the second pass. And we're gonna shave up. Now the Hydro line, very nice guys. In terms of comfort, in terms of cost, irritation, solid, solid product. And this has done a great job sharpening up the shave. Take that all the way up to the goatee. Nice. Very, very nice, guys. Extra benefit when you're dealing with chick, at least a five. Pop that open and you have a precision trimmer up top or it allows access to that top blade so you can get fine. You can trim up. You can go up into the nooks and crannies if, if that's what you're looking to do. I'm not a big fan of those, so it doesn't matter that much to me. But a fine, fine second pass indeed. Let's go shave logic. S5, flipping the blade upside down. Very nice, guys. Effortless, love the ergonomics. I'm loving the heft. I'm loving the lube strip is still intact. Look at that. Fifth pass or fifth shave, multiple passes. And still offering great feedback, great control. Nick free, tug free, smooth, shave. Uh, and I've solved the clogging problem. Oh yeah. I'm loving this razor. I am loving this razor. If I wanted to, I could bring that up to the edge. There's lots of control with this razor. If you look at the form factor, look how hefty the Schick product is and clunky. Look how slim. This is very reminiscent to me of like a sensor, the sensor XL in terms of the size. And they even market it that way five blades in a compact space. If you solve the clogging issue by just pressing down the opposite way on those blades because they move independently, perfect. For my money, guys, I'm taking Shave Logic and their S5 
and I'm defying logic over the Schick stubble eraser and the Hydro 5 cents, even with the limited edition handle. Guys, what it comes down to, very similar in terms of smoothness, worry-free, easy, convenient shave, comfortable. But this is just has the cool factor. It's got heft. And, and a big factor to me too, guys, is this organic, very much like the Harry's pivot, organic. So it works with your skin. It's not going to an imaginary point. It's locked in on you. And that feedback, you hear that feedback? Guys, I'm not worried. I'm going to nick myself up. I'm cutting against the grain, with the grain, across the grain. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. I could just do this all day. But now, guys, what I'm going to do, as per norm, I'm going to rinse off with some cold water and then I'll apply the aftershave. My man Isaac hooked me up today with a fresh haircut and shaved Logic, the S5, with the magnetic contact. Five shaves in and still rocking. Average guy tested. Average guy approved. Seal it all up with a message from the Duke. Duke Cannon. Ice cold. Post shave bomb, guys. Goes on cold. And then it brings the heat. So I'm looking good, feeling good, smelling good. Life is good. As always, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Shave war. Luke, I am your father. <laughs>
if you see that, the connection is via magnet. So there's no buttons to push, no little thing to depress. It just comes on and off via the magnetic pull. Now, both razors, guys, beautiful. Beautiful razors. Both premium cartridge razors. And we're going to give them a go here today. Find out which one is the best. All right. And I'm going to be trying a new product today. We're going to be trying Thayer's Shave Cream with Witch Hazel. Check that out. And Thayer's Aftershave Lotion with Witch Hazel. And I'm trying out a new camera that has cinematic mode, so bear with me. All right? So without further ado, let's get going. One other thing, though, Gillette Labs exfoliating bar razor comes with this nice travel case, which allows you to take it along. It also has a nice hefty platform or stand for the razor. So that's an added bonus. Nice for someone who wants to take your razors on the go, put them in a nice, compact, beautiful case. Hey. What am I waiting for? Let's get to shaving. First thing is always, you wanna have your beard ready to go. I'm gonna apply some near hot water. I'm gonna open up the pores, then we'll apply the product and get shaving. I'll use Shave Logic on this side of my face, and I'll use the Exfoliating Bar by Gillette on this side, and we're gonna put them up in a shave war. Now you could use a face cloth and get it nice and steamy and apply it to your face. I just jumped out of the shower, so I don't need to go that route. Just a little bit more warm water to get it going. And I'm going to try this shave cream, Thayer's Shave Cream with Witch Hazel. And apply liberally to face prior to shaving. That's the only direction they give you. So let's check this out. Let's get it up here. Comes out like a pearlescent. Take, take a look at that. Like a pearlescent shave cream. I'm not using a brush. And I'm just going to apply it right to the whiskers. And I don't believe this is a foaming cream, but it feels nice. It smells really nice. And it's got that witch hazel. So again, it's not foaming up. And let's get shaving. I'm gonna start with Shave Logic. see how it goes we'll start over here I'm gonna start and shave downward with the grain of the hair on my face and I'm fighting lots of stubble guys and right off the tip I'm having some issues just cutting through this double, if I'm being honest. Not a tremendous amount of clogging, as you can see. There's no clogging to really speak of. Just not powering through that stubble the way a DE would. Double edge razor, couple weeks growth. You're going through it. Now this formula, the Thayer's, is super slick. And I've never used it before. So that might be the issue. But as you can see, it's taken me a little bit to cut through that first pass. And I'm not even thinking about over here yet. But 
the shave cream is protective. This is ultra, ultra, ultra smooth, easy. No nicks, no tugs. Let's take a look at the neck. About the same, if you can see that, guys. Lots of long stubble. But easy to unclog. No clogging, so that's a good thing. And again, smooth as can be, guys. And that's the one thing that really jumped out to me when I first used the Shave Logic. No worries, no irritation, no nicks, no tugs, no cuts, no nothing. Just a nice shave. 11 years in the making, guys. If you read the marketing materials, this company, they really looked at all the pain points for modern day shavers, like me and you. Let's put that on the side. First pass is in the books. I'm gonna do just a little bit of more warm water on this side. And we'll go with the Gillette Exfoliating Bar Razor. All right, let's take a look at this. We'll start again, shave down. And very similar, guys. Picking up lots of that long stubble on that first pass. And not ripping it out. A double edge razor would have taken that off in one or two passes, guys. But with the cartridge razor, you're using the cartridge razor because you want a little bit more protection, a little bit more ease, a little bit more speed for the everyday. Very comparable shave. A little bit more access to the blade if I'm gonna be ranking them. I'm feeling the blade a little bit more, which means to me, maybe I have a little bit more control with the Gillette Labs razor. But again, it's taking a little bit of time to really get that, that first pass done. Again, I'm gonna flip it on the back side for the neck. Very comparable, guys. Very comparable. Now, although I told you I felt more control on this side, you know, I believe that the Shave Logic side took a little bit more hair off. But let's go into our second pass, which is going to be cross grain pass. So I'll go back to the Thayer's Shave Cream. I'm going to add a little bit more hot water. Near hot. And we'll add just a little bit more of this Thayer's. Very, very slick formula. Again, it's a non-foamy. And it has a subtle smell. And the, the healing properties of witch hazel. Nice, okay. Let's go with the SL5 guys and we're gonna do a cross grain. And you're just using the weight of the device and just 
gliding across the skin. You're not trying to do too much, guys. You're not trying to use too much pressure. Very, very nice. Cross grain approach. That second pass, guys, with the SL5, with the Shave Logic, beautiful. Again, not a care in the world. Smooth, irritation free, no clogging. Fair amount of feedback. Super, super impressed. Let's go with our Gillette Labs. So I am feeling the blades more on the Gillette Labs side. But very comparable shave. No irritation, no nicks, no tugs, no pulls. No worries. Very, very nice. I mean, these guys are neck and neck. Neck and neck. All right. Will the final against grain paths separate these two? Let's find out. A little bit more near hot water. And we're going to do our third and final pass, which is going to be against the grain. A little bit more of the Thayer's. Lighter amount now. Super slick, guys. So you don't need a lot going on. Super, super slick. All right, against grain. Now this is the third and final pass. And this is what I like to say, your, your get right pass. So basically I'm just taking the blade and glancing it across the skin. I am using a little bit more pressure here. And then on the neck, I'm turning it the traditional angle. And I'm done. Beautiful, easy shave with the shave logic. Beautiful. Now, I don't have a precision trimmer on the shave logic. It's one thing, it's actually two things that it doesn't have. It doesn't have flex disc technology and it doesn't have the precision trimmer, uh, precision trimmer. but the head is so slight, form factor is so slight, you can get into the nooks and crannies, although I'm not showing you here. But I would believe that if you're trimming, the Gillette Labs is gonna have a slight advantage. But let's go with the third and final pass on the Gillette Labs, which is against the grain. Again, get right pass. We're just using a little bit of pressure and getting the shave baby, it's bottom glass smooth. I like this little indentation there. You can put your finger in that flex disc. It's a nice little leverage spot. And if I wanted to use that precision trimmer, I could use the precision trimmer to edge up. I think that's the one area to consider if you are the type of dude that uses a precision trimmer. The Gillette Labs exfoliating bar has the SL5 beat on that. All right, now I'm going to rinse off with cool water. And we'll apply the aftershave and I'll give you my final thoughts. If 
final thoughts, guys. Very, very comparable shave on both sides. Easy, effortless, no worries about cutting yourself. It took a while to get the long stubble down, but if you're shaving every other day, they'll perform pretty much, pretty much the same and pretty much spectacularly for both. I'm gonna give the edge, guys, to the Gillette Labs exfoliating bar razor for three reasons. First, it comes with this beautiful case, or you can get a version with this beautiful travel case, which is kick ass. Any of the versions that you buy come with this, this base, which is super nice. So right off the bat, there are two things that are plus features. And that's magnetized. So you put this in and it clicks in. Now it can fall over. It can fall over. It's not a hard magnet, but beautiful. You can get it in this black finish. You can get it in a silver or like a brushed nickel finish. It's well designed guys. It's a, it's a work of art. It's, it's beautiful. It's got heft to it. It's got rubberized uh, grip on the back here. You have that flex disc technology. So pivoting that way, pivoting the, the normal way, you've got the precision trimmer and the exfoliating bar. So with all of those features, plus the ability to get these blades at your CVS, at your local pharmacy, at your Target, just kind of, you know, give it the nod between these two. But the SL5, guys, is a brilliant razor designed just brilliantly. It's a work of art. And if you're like me, and I think you are because you're here, you just like razor paraphernalia, you're a collector, you have to have a Shave Logic SL5 in your shave den. It's just a beautiful work of art. And the performance, it, it, quite frankly, before the Gillette Labs exfoliating bar razor was put on the market, this was the best shave from a cartridge of my life. And I'm gonna still stand by that, guys. I'm just talking about features. You know, if you're into features, Pound for pound, ounce for ounce. I'm going to have to give Gillette the big blue. I'm going to have to give it the slight nod. All right, let's finish up. And we're going to go with some Thayer's aftershave with Witch Hazel. Check that out. Ah, smells very nice. Ah, yeah. And it has... Again, that witch hazel, the soothing, restorative witch hazel. You can also pick up the skin toner from Thayer's and use this as your facial. You know, we're all getting older, guys. You want to take care of your skin, your face, because you only have one of them. But, again, Gillette, Gillette Labs exfoliating bar black gold version average guy tested average guy approved by a hair but the sl5 from shave logic also average guy tested average guy approved both great razors check them out get them in your shave den and guys i will see you next time which will probably be like i don't know <laughs> But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. Play. Go Knicks. Go New York. Go New York. Go. Go New York. Go New York. Go. Go New York. Go New York. Go. <laughs>so let's look at today's shaving lineup and i want to thank my boy mark fuentes from texas 
for sending me these great products from Sterling Soap Company, Campania. Very nice new scent. And that'll be our shave soap. If I want to go with a matching bath soap, he sent me their matching bath soap. And for the aftershave, we're going to be going with the Sterling Soap Campania Aftershave Splash. Look at this, guys. Now, what's interesting about these products, they're made right here in the United States in Arkansas. They're small batch, and they each have a hand written batch number so really really cool i've never used the sterling soap before so i'm really excited about that also pre-shave guys i like to shower first and mark fuentes sent along the mountain man body wash from sterling soap so thank you mark for sending this and other goodies i really really appreciate it brah trust me now for today's shave, we're going to be doing a Shave Wars. My last video, I introduced you to the Shave Logic S5 razor. Beautifully crafted razor. Five blades packed into a small space here. Very nice organic pivot. Just beautiful. And it gave me an awesome, awesome shave. So I decided to pit it up against the best in the business. Yep, that's right. Gillette will be looking at. The Fusion Pro Glide, guys. And I believe this is the Chill. Five blades, cooling lubricated strip. We've got the rubber guide. You've got a precision trimmer on the back. And oh, by the way, it's Flex Ball technology. So these are the two heavyweights in this Shave Wars. Without further ado, let's get started. Go, Knicks! Go, New York, go, New York, go. All right, guys, I've decided I'm just gonna start with a nice pre-shave steam and wash of my face. I wanna start with a clean palette whenever I'm shaving. You know the drill. Now, typically I do this in the shower, but it's not that type of a show. Again, I wanna thank Mark Fuentes for sending me these great sterling products. So now I'm gonna put some near hot water on my face. I'll get it steamed up, get the pores open. I'll wash it off and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Again, near hot water, guys. Not hot. Almost hot. Because you don't want to damage your skin. You only have one face. Now, as I wait for the water to heat up, guys, I'm running about four, four and a half days of growth here, guys. And this will be a nice test for both of these blades. And to keep the soapbox nice and pretty, I'll try a little bit of the Mountain Man body wash. Let's pour this out. Oh, very nice. Natural ingredients, guys. Made in the USA. And you gotta love that. And a little bit of an oily base to it, which will come in handy later during the shave. Very, very nice. Mild scent to it. Oh, yeah. I think this is a good product for a pre-shave. I'll rinse that off now with near hot water. You can also add some hot water to a washcloth. And steam your face. You really want to get the pores open. and get your face ready to receive the blade. Go New York, go New York, go. All right now, so my first crack at lather with a sterling soap. I've heard lots about these guys. Jimmy G's been talking about it. And I wanna thank my boy again, Mark Fuentes, for sending this campagna to me. I'm gonna be using my favorite brush, guys, Pacific Shavings. Natural cork handled brush with the synthetic badger hair. And I'll go for the first crack. About 25 to 30 swirls of this beautiful sterling soap. 
All right. Add a little bit more water. I'll be using my Shave Nation Indestructible. Indestructible to create some leather here, guys. What I like about this brush, there's no clickety clack when you're making your foam with a traditional brush handle. You're going ding, 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 ding. You're waking up everybody in the house. It's light, yet it's firm or the brush handle has a backbone, yet it's spongy soft to the touch, like cork. So cork has nice characteristics around wet things. Cork has been used for many, many, many years to cork up wine. Very resilient material, natural cork. So there's an eye to sustainability and the environment, and look at this Beautiful lather that we've developed here. Just gorgeous. Love it. Oh, it smells so good. Nice creamy Greek yogurt consistency, guys. And I will work that in to my unshaven face. Beautiful. Paint the face. Oh, it smells good and feels good. I can make it a little thinner by adding some water, but I like it right, right the way it is or just the way it is. So guys, this is a Shave Wars again. So I'm gonna let the competitor go first. The Shave Logic S5. I'll be shaving this side of my face and let's get cracking. Very nice. Second shave, just as smooth, just as easy. Ah. Good contact, good heft with the razor. Free, nick free, tug free. Just a wonderful shave. And you hear good feedback too. First pass in the books. This is gonna be hard to beat, guys. Performed very, very well. Shave Logic S5. All right, let's come on this side of the face with our Gillette Hydro or Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. And this is the chill. Not as hefty. So Shave Logic has a little bit more weight to it. Comparable though, with contact and overall feel. No worries here. No nicks, no tugs, you know it's Gillette. Oh, very nice, guys. Look at that. No clogs. And 
some good feedback. So first pass is in the books, guys. And right now I'm saying it's about a push. So I'm gonna add a little more near hot water, just a few drops more into my cream here. And we're gonna make a little bit slicker second pass. Oh, just wonderful soap. Let's go for round two, which is gonna be an against the grain pass, guys. We'll go for two passes today with your cartridge. You really only need probably one with cleanup, but I'll give you two. Oh, beautiful. Look at that soap. It's making me wanna do three passes. I'm going for three passes. I'm gonna really give this the appropriate shave war. So now we're gonna go for a cross grain pass. Look how slick and beautiful that soap is. Just use just a little bit more water, guys. Ah, oh, nice. Again, Sterling Campagna. All right, here we go. Shave Logic round two cross grain pass. So I'm gonna take that blade and you hear the feedback, guys. Lots of control with this razor. Very nice. It's got a more solid feel. A little bit simpler design with no flex ball. The angle of the blades are more, just a little bit more, in just a little more upright, not as slanted, which I think puts you in a little better position. And that second pass is in the books, guys. Wow. Wow. We'll go back to the champ. Go back to Gillette. And we're going to go with the cross grain pass. Oh, nice. Nice. Let's see how it handles the neck, the jawline and the chin, no problems. And that flex ball is very helpful in this area. No clogging. No nicks, no tugs. We've got a weeper on this side. So Shave Logic has a weeper. But you know what? Very, very comparable shave so far. Trust me. Let's go to round three, which will be an against grain pass. That might just decide it, guys. Round three, some more near hot water. Oh, feeling good, guys. Smelling good, feeling good. Let's make a little bit more beautiful lather here. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Sterling soap. Just beautiful. 
even for like a novice like me. I'm not the biggest shaving soap lather guy, as you probably know, if you've followed the channel. But I'll tell you what. Oh yeah, a nice coating of beautifulness. This is like the final minutes in an NBA thriller. And by the way, my Knicks, they've clinched the four seed. Come on. You got to give it up to the New York Knicks. All right, here we go. Really excited about this team, guys. Trust me. Against the grain, so we're going to flip the blade upside down. And just look at the way my fingers are. The ergonomics, the design of that is really, really nifty. Very comfortable. All right, we're going to start here. Oh, yeah. Oh, you hear that? This is a beautifully designed razor, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that. No nicks. No tugs. No fear. No clogs. Just supreme contact, comfort, control. No need for a back trimmer, which I don't like. Beautiful. Okay, does Big Blue have what it takes to hold on to their crown? Let's see. We're going to flip the blade upside down. I'll start on the neck. Whisper smooth. No fear. A little bit more surface area. So you're covering more of your face in a more efficient manner. I'll give Gillette that. Comfortable grip as well. I tell you what, guys. Wow. I hate to do this to you guys. I'm going to say that this is a push. And if I'm saying that this is a push, what I'm really saying is that I'm going to give the nod to Shave Logic. And I'll tell you why. Because it's innovation, guys. 11 years in the making studying the market, developing the design, the sustainability, one product that's just beautifully executed. Some new things like this magnetic connection here. I've seen it before, the Leaf Razor has it, but not a cartridge, and that's really elegant. I'm gonna give the nod to Shave Logic because they're the new kids on the block. I'm not going to be like a ref in a sporting event and give all the consideration to the veteran. The Shave Logic S5 is my choice. Average guy tested, average guy approved. So now we'll have to see if it can keep its crown going forward. Honorable mention to the boys at Big Blue. I mean, the Gillette 
product is certainly no slouch. But for my money today, I'm going with Shave Logic. So now what I'm gonna do is splash on some cold water and we'll get ready for the aftershave. That cold water splash is very, very nice. Cools you down, gets you in a good mood. And we'll finish it up with the Sterling Soap Campania Aftershave Splash. Just a few drops of that. Oh yeah, nice little tingly sting, which is what you like to feel. It feels so damn good, I might have to put a little bit more on. Thanks to Mark Fuentes, my man, out of Far, Texas. Mark, you may be far away, but you are always close to my heart, bro. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I gotta get a new writer. Average guy tested, average guy approved. So again, I wanna thank my boy Mark Fuentes for sending me these beautiful grooming products from Sterling Soap. And I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching. I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. <laughs> Average guy tested. Average guy approved. The one thing I will say about the wet shaving community, you can bring in some flighty characters. I see lots of guys going. Don't do that. Especially if you have a propensity to have irritated skin, ingrown hairs. Come on. Your face never goes, why should you be shaving that way? You don't want to be stretching and pulling. Yeah, come on, man. That's all for show. Some flighty characters. <laughs>
Now a premium badger brush. Guys, don't have to wet soak. Just a little near hot water on the head. I'm gonna go into this container, four ounce container, but it's <clears throat> significantly larger than the soap. And I like that because right there, I can get in there. This almost works like a bowl itself. And I can get a nice, beautiful piece of lather going there. I'm gonna go right on the face, guys. Right on the face. Work that in. Well, it's got a beautiful, soft smell to it. Oh, yeah. Soothing. Calming. Smells good, feels good, great ingredients, great scents. Get over to Elysian, I'll leave a description or a link in the description box so you can check it out. Support Shannon and her effort to go from a small soap manufacturer, fragrance manufacturer, to a large one and that's Really the American dream, right? That's the American dream. We're gonna start off with the fat boy. Now, the interesting bit about tackling this beard is the fact that with this old fat boy, you have this adjustable ring. So if you can see there, I'm dialed all the way up to a nine, which is the highest, most aggressive setting. I can start with that to rip off that first layer and then dial the aggressiveness back. So let's see how a nine tackles this beard. Again, with a DE, you're gonna to wanna to do a 30 to 35 degree angle. Short, yet glancing strokes. <clears throat> Want to let the heft of the razor do the trick here, as any razor. And there is good heft with this fat boy. Hence the name, hence the name fat boy. It's hefty razor, guys. Look at the, the grippage, the knurling. Just a beautiful piece. Now, my fat boy was gifted to me by the great Jimmy G. And he sent me. This beautiful F2 model. So it's stamped on the bottom. There's codes that date the razor. F meaning 1960, two meaning second quarter. So my razor was made 10 years before I was made. It was a good year. And it's doing quick work with that beard. Again, I'm going to do half the face with the fat boy and half the face with the exfoliating bar razor. Two of my favorites from Gillette. Smooth, guys. Smooth, easy, perfect angle. This is the stubborn bit right here. I've really had no real issues. Taking down that two week old growth.
and the first pass pretty much in the books guys now i'll show you other features of this because i'm going to take the blade out and clean it so it's a butterfly clasp so i can open it up like that take the blade out i can clean the mechanism put the blade back in i'm going to dial this back to a five and you have to with these retro adjustables you really have to have them open to adjust them close it in get it all the way to the end and then another turn to lock the blade in place my man shaver boy 516 hooked me up with that little technique of locking that blade in come back over to this side of the face and i'll give you the word on gillette's newest so this is my currently my favorite razor if i'm dealing with cartridges this is gillette labs their exfoliating bar razor five blades of fun exfoliating bar or heated bar if you're going to use the heated razor you've got precision trimmer up top here for trimming and you have a lubrication strip up top this exfoliating bar is supposed to exfoliate the skin as you yeah okay so let's get in here again two weeks of heavy growth against five blades now look at that it's clogged all up but not clogged after a slight rinse you also have flex disc technology which allows the head to pivot this way pivot that way and the head as you're used to pivots that way I use it nice and flat up against the face there. And as you can see, it's making quick work of the beard. With this razor as well, you wanna use limited pressure. And there's some good heft for this for a cartridge razor. I put my finger right there, the index right there. It's a nice place to guide the razor. Here's the stubborn bit. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Now with good technique, both feel very confident with. For those of you who enjoy a cartridge shave, you know you don't need great, the greatest technique with a, a good cartridge razor. And your margin of error with a cartridge is a lot less. And the cartridge is having a little bit harder time with this tough, tough patch down here, but the flat side of the face, it really, I think it did a better job, quicker job. Okay, so there you go. First pass in the books, still have a lot of hair there, guys. All right, let's go with round two, or pass two. Load up with a little bit more near hot water. We've got a lot here left on this side. Go back to that original grab of soap. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Just dry it out slightly. Not a thirsty soap. It's a luscious soap. I really enjoy this product. I really enjoy this product. And I had a nice conversation with Shannon. Unfortunately, my Wi-Fi connection is poor. So I'm going to have to re-record it, Shannon. I think. Because we had a lot of frozen video. But look for a good interview upcoming with Shannon from Elysian Soap Shop. Pass number two, which is going to be cross-grain pass. I've dialed this back to a five.
and you got two sides of a double edge, you want to use them both. If you're familiar with this show, this is a shave war. So which razor I find to be the better one will get the final pass. So far, no complaints with the fat boy. It's a razor that was made in 1960, guys. So it's going on 63 years on the planet. 63. Look at that. It looks great, right? All right, over to the Gillette Lab side. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, much easier to wield without fear, without great technique. Let's get in here and get rid of that hair that was left over. All that cross grain. I do see a little red spot here on the Gillette lab side, I do see a little red spot. Could be some dry skin. It's not a cut, just a little, little blemish. All right, after two rounds, now we have to decide, or I have to decide, which way I'm gonna go for the final. All right, so if I'm being honest, guys, I've enjoyed the fat boy shave. I think it was more efficient getting the hair off down here in the tougher spots. I think it's been smoother. I'm feeling the slight tingle over here of irritation and here and here. And that could be because of lack of technique or the need for great technique. As you saw how fast I was going on that area. Love both razors. Today, the nod is going to go to Gillette, the fat boy. All right, they're both Gillette. I'm going to open this up, the winner today. Pull out the blade, rinse it out. Rinse out the mechanism. Plop this back in. And I'm going to dial this way down from a five. Put a dialer all the way back down to a... Two. So I'm going to almost nothing in aggression. Again, oh, a little weeper there. And a little bit of tingle, a little bit of burn. I'll go back to this beautiful soap. Really is a great soap, guys. And I'm going to put my last little lather on my face. It smells so good, guys. If you like a, a, a warm, like smooth, not over the top on fragrance, but you know it's there, vibe. Yeah. A lesion. You want a luxury feel for your day? A lesion, guys. Very, very nice. Made right here. In the States, I think in the Pennsylvania area. Store coming soon, little shop. Big plans for this small company. And hopefully, I'll go along for the ride. Right? <laughs> All right. Put that on nice and thin. I could put more water on it and get it thicker, but you know, this is the last pass. I kinda like to go, I kinda like to go with a, a thin layer of protection on the last pass. Last pass, both sides. We're gonna flip the razor upside down and just shave up. Very, very smooth, almost no resistance. 
dial that way down to the two. This is just the, what I like to call a get right pass. Gives you that baby's bottom feel. And you address the areas, the nooks and crannies. Yeah, the, the razor's talking, still talking a little bit. Not trying to do too much. With razors, you're not digging, guys. You're shaving. You don't want to do too much. Just let the weight of the product glance across your skin. Take your time. Now, I see lots of clowns going... Don't do that. Especially if you have a propensity to have irritated skin, ingrown hairs. You don't want to be stretching and pulling. Yeah, come on, man. That's all for show. The one thing I will say about the wet shaving community, you can bring in a little, some flighty characters. I say all this in jest, guys. I'm not looking for fights. But there are some shaving snobs. When you get into the wet shaving community. It's a beautiful shave, guys. Now, I'm not going to try to go crazy. I'm not going to try to get every hair. The one exception, pushing the skin, I push it away from the Adam's apple. But I'm not looking to. Come on, come on. Come on. Your face never goes. Why should you be shaving that way? All right. A great shave, guys. A great shave. Two great products. Whichever one is your speed, or have them both, like me, have them both. Average guy tested, so Gillette, years and years of innovation. Give them a shot again, guys, all right? Beautiful. Average guy tested, average guy approved. So now I'm gonna rinse off with some cool water and get ready for the aftershave. Ah, yeah, pat the skin dry. And I noticed under here, there's still some hair, both sides. But I'm not going to push it. Got a nice, clean shave, ready for the day. One thing I like about the cartridge razors today is you have that precision trimmer. You can get in there and trim that, which is very, very nice. Beautiful thing. Feeling good. Looking clean, feeling clean. Now let's just finish the shave up in style. Again, pine and pepper, artisan aftershave splash with that wonderful. Ah, oh, yeah. Now this has more of a pepper smell to it. And I've noticed with Their splashes are just a little bit, have just a little bit more life to them from a fragrance standpoint. Give you a little spice as you walk out the door. Very, very nice. All right, guys. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this comparison of old to new with old in the middle. Get out, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. Play. Now roll the music. Mm.